In this video, we'll be talking about Mobius function and here I denote this Mobius function by mu n for all positive integer n greater than or equal to 1. So let's see what is the definition of the Mobius function. So we define Mobius function for any positive integer mu n and it takes the value 1 if n is equal to 1. Let's take the value 0 if it is divisible by some prime square. So whenever p is some prime and if the square of that prime divides n, this Mobius function value is 0. This value is minus 1 to the power r if n can be written as p1, p2 up till pr, where pi's are of course distinct prime. So these are all distinct primes. So this is a prime factorization. Or we can say whenever n is not a square free number, that means p square divides n, then mu n is equal to 0. Let's write down some of the early value. Mu1 is equal to 1 by definition itself. Mu2, because there is only one prime here. What is the value for n when n is equal to 2? So this is single prime and by this definition, whenever n is in the form p1, p2, this value is minus 1. Mu3, again, this is a single prime. So this value is minus 1. Mu4, now 4 is actually mu of 2 square. So again, now this n is not a square free number. So this includes square and hence this value is 0. Mu5, this is a prime. So this value is minus 1. Mu6, I can write down this into the prime factorization 2 into 3. So this means I can write down n as the prime factorization of two distinct prime. Now this means it will be minus 1 to the power r. And here there are only two primes. So this is minus 1 to the power 2. So this will become plus 1. Mu of 7. 7 is a prime. So this value is minus 1. Mu 8. Again 8 is coming as 2 cube. So in 2 cube 2 square is already there. So this means 2 square that is 4. 4 divides 8. So square this 8 is not a square free number. So this value is 0. Mu of 9, which is mu of 3 square. So this value is also 0. Mu of 10, that is mu of 2 into 5. There are two primes, so this value is plus 1. The first property of the mu function is that it is a multiplicative function. So let's write down the definition for a function to be multiplicative. So this means I want to show mu of m n. This is same as mu of m into mu of n whenever gcd of m and n is equal to 1. So let's consider m and n in a general form. Let me to take m into the prime factorization p1, p2 up till pr and let's take the n also prime factorization p, uh, q1, q2 up till some q times s. And notice that whenever m and n is equal to 1, both of them are equal to 1. So this means mu of m n, this is same as mu of m into mu of n because mu of 1 the product is 1 1 into 1 and here also this is mu 1 into mu 1 so both sides this is trivially true so there is nothing new to prove whenever m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 1 whenever there is a prime square that divides m in this case mu m will be 0 or we say whenever there is a prime square that divides n so mu n will be 0 so we will leave these case whenever there is a square involved in those prime factorization of m and n so because of the property that whenever these m and n are not square free numbers, so this value will be 0. So excluding these cases, now I consider m in the prime factorization where each prime appear with the power only 1. Now I want to prove mu of m n. So let's just substitute these values. m is p1, p2 up till pr. These are distinct primes and of course n is q1 up till qs. So just take the multiplication of m n. And here, how many total prime do we have inside? We have r plus s primes. So this is same as minus 1 to the power r plus s by definition. This is same as minus 1 to the power r into minus 1 to the power s. This I can write it as mu of p1 up till pr into mu of q1 up till qs. Because by definition, minus 1 to the power r can be written into this form. Minus 1 s to the power s can be written into this form. This is same as mu of m into mu of n and hence the result that Mobius function is a multiplicative function. So now in this theorem we want to prove that for each positive integer n greater than or equal to 1 summation of mu d where d divides n and d runs through the positive divisors of n. This is equal to 1 or 0 when n is equal to 1 and n strictly greater than 1. Now let's prove this case. And in this case, I want to run over all divisor over the positive integer n. So let us consider the prime factorization of n. So n has a prime factorization in this form p1 to the power k1 up till so on pr to the power kr. And let's take 
summation mu d d divides n as capital F of n and we are just using now this result that if small f and capital F are two arithmetic function and capital F of n is related to small f as in this formula d divides n then if small f is multiplicative this is multiplicative then that implies that capital F is also multiplicative so we just have proved that mu d is a multiplicative function if mu d is a multiplicative function then capital F is also a multiplicative function so if I can now write capital F of n this will become f of p1 to the power k1 up till so on just substitute the value of n and because now f is multiplicative we have just said that f is multiplicative function this means this is same as f of p1 to the power k1 and so on f of pr to the power kr now i'm just interested in knowing so what is f of pi to the power some ki if i know now this value then i can just substitute into this above expression and i can find out so now let us see what is this case so we want to now find this expression and now by the definition that we have given here to fn function let's now write it as f of pi to the power ki this is equal to summation d divides pi to the power ki this is now taking the value n and then we have mu of d so d is the divisor d is divisor of pi to the power ki now what are the divisors of pi to the power ki this is one is divisor of every number so one will come here then we have pi then we'll have pi square pi cube and so on up till pi to the power ki so these are the values that has been taken by d so substitute these value say when d is equal to one so this is summation so i'm considering divisor one then i'll take the second divisor this is mu of pi plus mu of pi square plus so on consider all the divisors till last divisor is pi to the power ki because here this expression is pi to the power ki now we know mu value is 1 mu of pi value is minus 1 plus all these term and this expression mu i pi square because it is a square so this value is 0 and hence similarly other all quantities where there is a power which is larger than 2 all quantities are 0 so now this 1 minus 1 this value is also 0 so this implies f of pi to the power ki is 0 for n strictly greater than 1 whenever we have a prime factorization that i have now denoted by equation number 1 now this means now you substitute here this expression f of p1 k1 is 0 f of p2 k2 is 0 because this number is 0 for every i so this whole expression is 0 now suppose that if my n is 1 okay suppose if n is 1 in that case when n is equal to 1 so in 1 in equation number 1 the only possibility is that k1 k2 all these power of the primes are equal to 0 in that case n will take the value 1 only because anything raised to power 0 will make this quantity as 1 and in this case capital f of n this is same as summation d divides now the value for n is 1 so this will be d divide 1 mu of d and in this case there is one has only one divisor that is one so this is only mu one so that will become one so only in this case now this result holds true only in this case when n is equal to one we got one when n is strictly greater than one there is a some prime factorization and by following that uh, this proof that we have just done here this means this value is going to come out as zero